Welcome everyone. Today, we're tackling the enigma of acute metabolic acidosis, a hidden adversary in the ICU. It's surprisingly common and incredibly complex. To outmaneuver this silent foe by rebalancing the body's intricate systems. But here's where it twists. They face a labyrinth of low pH and bicarbonate, impacting up to 42% of ICU warriors. The danger is real. This condition stealthily undermines the heart, lungs, and even oxygen transport. It's like an invisible chaos agent in the body. Now, let's spotlight bicarbonate, the medical world's double-edged sword. It's the go-to in emergencies but can flip the script on blood chemistry and oxygen levels. And guess what? It's a crucial ally in shielding kidneys from injury post-major surgeries. Stay tuned as we decode this medical puzzle and uncover the latest in ICU tactics. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that bell. We are just getting started. The differences between the conventional, Henderson-Hasselbach, approach and the Stewart approach in understanding acid-base disorders are fundamental in how they conceptualize and analyze the factors influencing pH levels in the body. Here's a comparison. 1. Henderson-Hasselbach approach pH determination focuses on the ratio of bicarbonate, HCO3, to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, PACO2. Role of bicarbonate considers bicarbonate as one of the strongest buffers and key determinants of pH. Base excess concept introduced by Sigard Anderson to separate metabolic and respiratory components in acid base disorders. Base excess function represents the amount of acid or alkali needed to adjust 1 liter of oxygenated blood to a pH of 7.40 at a PACO2 of 40 mm of mercury, indicating the metabolic component independent from respiratory influences. Inclusion of hemoglobin incorporates the buffering effect of hemoglobin, ATOT, total concentration of non-volatile weak buffers. Steward approach, pH determination, based on maintaining electrical neutrality and involves three independent determinants of pH. Determinants of pH. Strong ion difference. SID. Refers to the difference between the concentrations of strong cations and anions. Total concentration of weak acids. Includes mainly albumin and phosphate, affecting the buffering capacity. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Reflects the respiratory component. Metabolic disorders analysis attributes metabolic disorders to changes in the strong ion difference or the total concentration of weak acids. Holistic approach provides a more comprehensive view of the interactions between different variables affecting acid-base balance. Key differences. Conceptual framework. Henderson-Hasselbach relies on the bicarbonate CO2 ratio, while Stewart focuses on the balance of ions and weak acids, along with CO2. Analysis of disorders. Henderson-Hasselbach uses base excess to evaluate metabolic components, whereas Stewart assesses changes in SID and weak acids. Complexity and application. The Stewart approach is considered more complex but provides a holistic understanding, useful in critically ill patients where multiple factors influence acid-base status. Role of bicarbonate in respiratory acidosis. Buffering acidosis with sodium bicarbonate, common in clinical practice, but evidence of its effectiveness is unclear. In studies with lung protective ventilation and respiratory acidosis, sodium bicarbonate use was allowed. However, it didn't raise arterial blood pH effectively and instead increased carbon dioxide levels. Negative effects of sodium bicarbonate in respiratory acidosis, usage led to reduced arterial blood pressure and cardiac output. Causes, paradoxical, acidosis due to carbon dioxide generated by bicarbonate freely diffusing into cells, increasing intracellular acidosis. Intracellular and extracellular pH changes. Respiratory acidosis affects both intracellular and extracellular pH levels. Intracellular acidosis may worsen with sodium bicarbonate treatment due to increased carbon dioxide diffusion into cells. Sodium bicarbonate in acute metabolic acidosis, Stewart approach, increases pH by raising plasma sodium relative to chloride. Rapid conversion of bicarbonate to carbon dioxide, affecting intracellular pH. Used by over 50% of critical care physicians for severe metabolic acidemia. Lack of clear evidence for sodium bicarbonate effectiveness, 
Prospective studies show no outcome improvement with its use. Two multicenter trials found no significant benefit for acute metabolic acidosis. Concerns with sodium bicarbonate therapy, potential side effects, increased lactic acid production and hypocalcemia, requires strict laboratory and blood gas monitoring for side effects. Gastrointestinal losses and metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis can result from conditions like acute colonic diarrhea. Bicarbonate may compensate for gastrointestinal losses. Lactic acidosis treatment debate. Controversy over bicarbonate use for lactic metabolic acidosis. Some studies show no significant impact on hemodynamics or mortality. Studies on bicarbonate and lactic acidosis. Mixed effectiveness results in treating lactic acidosis. No improvement in cardiac output or cardiovascular response in some studies. Associations with increased mortality. Bicarbonate infusion linked to increased mortality in lactic acidosis patients in retrospective studies. Metformin-induced lactic acidosis. No reported positive effect of bicarbonate therapy for metformin-related lactic acidosis. Acute kidney injury, Aki, and metabolic acidosis. Aki in ICU patients is a heterogeneous syndrome with varying definitions and causes. Traditional view. Metabolic acidosis in Aki due to increased urinary bicarbonate excretion or decreased renal bicarbonate synthesis. Steward approach. Acidosis in Aki is multifactorial, involving hyperchloremia, retention of unmeasured anions, and hyperphosphatemia. Use of sodium bicarbonate in Aki. Despite controversies, sodium bicarbonate is often used to neutralize metabolic acidosis in Aki. A 2017 Cochrane meta-analysis found no randomized clinical trials supporting sodium bicarbonate use in Aki. Recent studies and findings. A specific subgroup in the sodium bicarbonate therapy for patients with severe metabolic acidemia in ICU trial showed improved 28-day survival with bicarbonate treatment. Improvement might be due to a lower chloride load in the bicarbonate group. Observational studies on sodium bicarbonate in Aki, Zhang et al., found no significant benefit in expected mortality with bicarbonate treatment in severe acidemia or pancreatitis. Bicarbonate infusion improved survival only in patients with sepsis and Aki. Expert guidelines and recommendations. A French expert panel recommended bicarbonate for ICU patients with severe metabolic acidemia. pH is less than or equal to 7.20. PACO 2 less than 45 mm of mercury and moderate to severe renal failure, based on moderate evidence. Sodium bicarbonate in acute metabolic acidosis, complex effects. Sudden pH rise, increases hemoglobin oxygen affinity, bore effect, potentially reducing oxygen release to tissues. Can lead to tissue hypoxia exacerbation. Metabolism and lactate production, pH change stimulates lactate production, a marker of metabolic acidosis and cellular distress. Plasma calcium decrease. pH rise causes calcium chelation by albumin, reducing free calcium. Impairs myocardial contractility, affecting heart function. Bicarbonate as a weak acid. Exists in equilibrium with CO2, which diffuses into cells. Raises intracellular PCO2, possibly worsening intracellular acidosis. Potential vicious circle. Intended to correct acidosis, bicarbonate infusion can ironically worsen intracellular acidosis. May impair oxygen delivery and cardiac function. Potential virtuous effects. In some cases, bicarbonate stabilizes extracellular pH, providing temporary relief. Contrast medium-induced Aki. Incidence varies, 1-50%, higher in critically ill patients, 17-19%. Caused by renal ischemia and tubular cell toxicity, exacerbated by high osmolar agents. Bicarbonate may reduce radical production and renal damage by raising pH. Studies in non-critically ill patients show no prevention benefit from bicarbonate. In critically ill patients, studies also found no significant difference in outcomes with bicarbonate use. Cardiac surgery associated Aki. Incidence ranges from 3 to 52 percent, linked to increased mortality and renal therapy need. Caused by hypoperfusion, ischemia reperfusion injury, and hemolysis. Bicarbonate could reduce free radical production and methemoglobin conversion.
Some studies found reduced postoperative Aki with bicarbonate use, but others didn't. Meta-analyses suggest bicarbonate doesn't lower cardiac surgery-related Aki incidence. Liver transplantation and Aki, high incidence, 17-95% post-transplantation. Main risk factors, long graft ischemia, massive transfusion, immunosuppressants, pre-existing conditions. Studies show no significant difference in Aki prevention with bicarbonate. Bicarbonate may impact intraoperative metabolic acidosis and hemodynamics. Physiologic studies indicate transient effects of bicarbonate infusion, but no robust clinical data on long-term benefits. The take-home message is prevalence in critical care. Acidemia is a common complication in critically ill patients. Current practice Sodium bicarbonate is widely used to correct metabolic acidosis. Challenges in evidence. Limited firm evidence due to patient heterogeneity, variation in acidemia types, and varying bicarbonate treatment protocols. Many studies lack power to show significant differences in mortality or hospital stay. Future research directions. Need for studies focusing on hemodynamic effects and acid-base status. Dosage of bicarbonate should be tailored to the severity of acidosis, not based on anthropometric data. Holistic treatment approach. Treatment should address the underlying causes of acidosis, not just the acidemia itself. Acidemia is often a symptom of underlying conditions affecting mortality rates. Considerations for clinicians. Treat sodium bicarbonate as a drug with potential side effects. Recognize its limitations and the current gaps in clinical evidence.